find a vector v parallel to vector u with a magnitude equal to nine. Just in case we're looking for a vector pointing in the same or opposite direction of vector u that has a length or magnitude of nine, and therefore vector v must be a scalar multiple of vector u. Let's first write vector u in component form. Vector u has an x component of negative one, a y component of negative three, and a z component of positive four. And again, vector v must be a scalar multiple of vector u. Let's let c be a scalar, and therefore vector v is equal to c times vector u, which would be c times the vector in component form. Performing the scalar multiplication, the x component is negative c, the y component is negative three c, and the z component is four c. Now we'll determine the magnitude of vector v, set it equal to nine, and then solve for c. So the magnitude of vector v is equal to the square root of the sum of the square of negative c and the square of negative three c and the square of four c. And again, we want the magnitude to be nine, and therefore we set this equal to nine, and now solve for c. Simplifying under the square root first, we have the square root of c squared plus nine c squared plus 16 c squared equals nine. Still simplifying under the square root, adding like terms, we have the square root of 26 c squared equals nine. The square root does simplify because c squared's a perfect square, but remember the square root of c squared must be positive, and therefore the square root of c squared is equal to the absolute value of c. This gives us the absolute value of c times the square root of 26 equals nine. Next we divide both sides by the square root of 26. Simplifying, we have the absolute value of c equals nine divided by the square root of 26, which indicates c is equal to plus or minus nine divided by the square root of 26. So there are two values of c we can use. If we use the positive value, vector v will point in the same direction as vector u and have a magnitude of nine. If we use a negative value of c, vector v would point in the opposite direction and have a magnitude of nine. In either case, both vectors would be parallel to vector u and have a magnitude of nine. Let's go ahead and just use the positive value of c. Let's let c equal nine divided by the square root of 26. And therefore vector v in this case has an x component of negative or the opposite of nine divided by the square root of 26, a y component of negative three times nine divided by the square root of 26, and a z component of four times nine divided by the square root of 26. Let's go ahead and simplify one more time. The x component is negative nine divided by the square root of 26. The y component is negative 27 divided by the square root of 26. And the z component is 36 divided by the square root of 26. Of course, we can also write vector v using the unit vectors i, j, and k. We can also express vector v as negative nine divided by square root 26 times a unit vector i minus 27 divided by the square root of 26 times a unit vector j plus 36 divided by the square root of 26 times vector k. Before we go, let's verify the magnitude of vector v is nine. Notice the magnitude of vector v is equal to nine. I hope you found this helpful.